Losing your memory is something that we often joke about in passing, as an excuse for being so forgetful. We all have done it, leaving our keys at home, forgetting an item at the store, or not remembering when an assignment is due. We chalk it up to it slipping from our minds and make a joke about getting older, and simply move on since, for the most part, these isolated incidents are nothing to dwell on too much. But, what if you found yourself in a situation where you were experiencing things that you could not recall as to how they happened? You could try to rack your brain and think hard on the prior events, and yet all you would seemingly find would be a foggy blur instead of a perceived memory. Would it drive you insane, knowing that you weren't losing your mind, yet you kept being unable to remember things or explain how you came to be where you were in these times of memory loss? Worst of all, what if you found things happening to you during these lapses in memory, and only saw the aftermath once you regained full cognitive ability? How afraid would you be that you were the victim of something you couldn't explain because you couldn't recall what happened? Feeling like you're stuck inside a dream that you can't wake up from, that would lead to full-blown paranoia with every passing day. Worst of all, what if the person you loved and trusted the most was responsible for this madness that you had to live with, but you didn't know if you could even prove it, let alone if they were even behind it at all? This is exactly what happened to one Reddit user going by the name Intrepid Sport, and how her life began to unravel as she became the victim of… well, we don't fully know. Today, I am going to tell you a Redditor's living nightmare and how she went from being a normal, happy individual to someone who was riddled with paranoia and feeling like her sanity had broken. This is the story of Intrepid Sport and how those closest to you may be the cause of your living hell. Our story starts in Texas. A Reddit post made to the r slash legal advice subreddit with the title, I think my boyfriend has been drugging me to make me forget things. He is a doctor. This is what follows. Hey, so I must apologize if this post is jumbled a bit. I started typing it in Word yesterday before my date and forgot about it before finishing it today. I think my boyfriend has been secretly drugging me for a while now and is gaslighting me. I know this is going to be hard to explain, but I have been having gaps in memory that I have been explaining away as being tired or overworked or whatever else. I was going to ask my boyfriend about it since he is a doctor, but then I started to notice that this seems to happen when I go on dates with him. I know it must be crazy, but I have woken up with dried semen on my breasts several times with no memory of the night before. I know it's him as… well, I won't go into the specifics, but he likes that kind of thing more than other guys would. The first time it happened was when we were drinking, and I wrote it off as too much to drink. We get drunk and have sex all the time, so it's not a big deal to me. But. Then there were a few times where I know we were not drinking. I decided to break up with him over it, only to suddenly find myself on a date with him a few days later. I had not yet had the conversation to break up with him, but planned on it the next time I talked with him. I remember being at a restaurant, but nothing before that. My car and his car were in the parking lot too, so I was confused. I decided to play along when he asked me to come back to his place. After three days at his place, I remembered everything, so I started to trust him again. Knowing he was an ENT, I know it won't be his forte, but he is a doctor. I was going to ask him about my issues when he randomly pointed to these red bumps on my thigh and said I should be treating those sores. I had completely forgotten that they were there. These little red bumps that looked like needle injections that got infected. I got so freaked out he mentioned them that I decided to leave. 
The next day he came over to check on me, and I remember waking up in bed with more dried semen on my chest. Then today he met me for lunch saying that we had agreed to meet. I never agreed to meet with him, and I never would want to. He does this all the time, saying we agreed to do something I have no memory of. I am sick and tired of it, and I want him to be punished. This has started to affect my work life as well, as I start to get paranoid when I see a boss walk into a room after making eye contact with me. I get paranoid that they are about to fire me. My friends also state I have been acting strangely and out of character. I have even begun to lose sleep and sleepwalk when I do. Is there any way to have blood work done to see what kind of drug he is using on me? I do not want the police to blow me off and push me away as some crazy lady, so I want to be damn sure when I go to the police. Now that is a lot to unpack, so let's break this down on what OP was saying and go into more detail with each part. First off is the first sentence in the post when OP states she meant to finish the post but forgot about it. So I think it's safe to assume, given what we have heard, that whatever effects she is suffering with are still going on at the time of her post. Which is very important to me and I will state why later on in my theory. As the post goes on, the next thing that stood out to me was when she met her boyfriend for a date and didn't recall driving there and actually had to check to make sure that she in fact drove. The next part would be that when her boyfriend pointed out that she had red bumps all over her thigh. And the final is when she mentions how it is affecting many aspects of her life and causing her to feel paranoid. As I said, I am coming back to why I brought these up. But just stick with me here because now I am going into what many in the comments of this post are divided on. The first is what seems to be the most obvious. Her boyfriend is drugging her and sexually assaulting her and who knows what else while she is in this state. The options that he would have at his disposal are numerous and I am not going to go into those disgusting possibilities. If this is the case, then she clearly would need to pursue legal action against him. The only problem with that is she can't remember anything from the gaps in her memory. It seems the biggest reason she is even blaming him is due to his medical background and would give him knowledge to potential drugs that could cause these issues. The other option, and something that I would have never guessed, could have been the culprit until I read it for myself is bedbugs. Yeah, bedbugs. Those things that our parents told us not to get bitten by in our sleep. I will be completely honest here, I didn't even know those were a real thing until I was in high school. And I sure as hell didn't know they were capable of so much damage to a person. Let me explain. As we know, bedbugs are small insects that feed on human blood, usually when we are sleeping since we are completely vulnerable then. The bites these tiny things can pack are honestly terrifying. They are known to cause health effects like skin irritation and rashes, psychological effects similar to PTSD, and allergic reactions. And that alone scares the hell out of me because I would never want to experience waking up out of a deep sleep and being unable to breathe. And I feel everyone else here feels the same. Now it's time to go back to the points I made earlier that stood out to me and why they did. I will look at both sides as to if it could be the effects of being drugged or simply bedbugs. When OP forgot about her post and came back later to finish it. First off, there are numerous drugs out there that can cause memory loss for short periods of time. The problem is, is that these types of drugs range from antidepressants, sleeping pills, anti-seizure pills, drugs treating hypertension, and Parkinson's are just a few to name. And those broad categories have a f ton of medications that can be used to treat them. The side effect of these drugs can cause memory loss, and some vary more than others. Some drug side effects only will last a few hours, whereas others can last for weeks on end. So, if OP's boyfriend were possibly drugging her, then the possibility of her still experiencing issues weeks later could be in the realm of possibility. 
As for the bed bug theory, I have seen conflicting accounts. There are those who are commenting on the post saying that bed bugs cannot cause memory loss for a person, whereas on other websites, I have seen people saying that it is a possibility that they could. The next part, with Opie forgetting that she drove to meet her boyfriend, can fall in the same category of memory loss. But why it stood out to me is that if she was in fact drugged, then I would wonder how it didn't affect her motor skills, especially while driving. I am not sure if there are any side effects out there that can only cause memory loss, but not affect anything more. Perhaps you could argue that OP was simply using muscle memory, and while that is a good argument, you also have to take into consideration that driving requires constant focus due to traffic. Bed bugs is hard to argue here since I haven't found a strict answer on if they can in fact cause memory loss. I am honestly seeing more people say that they can't, and while I want to agree with that fact, I don't think I can. I mean, if those little things can cause a litany of other psychological problems, then I wouldn't put it past the realm of possibility for them to cause memory loss. The next part is about OP having red bumps on her thigh. And this is where the theory of bed bugs stands out very strongly for me. The OP mentioned that she had bumps all over her leg that looked like needle injections that got infected. The only reason I am not fully saying that this was in fact bed bugs is because OP didn't include any pictures of these bumps, so I have nothing to compare it to. I can Google image search them, and yes, they look like needle injections, but they also look like zits, or flea bites, or just general irritation. When it comes to being drugged, it is almost impossible to say, as with medications, people react differently to them. So much so that I can't even narrow it down, as you could have a handful of people who could have a reaction like bumps appearing on their skin, whereas others will experience nothing. The final part OP mentioned that stood out to me was that she was experiencing paranoia more frequently, and that seems to be a dead ringer to me for bed bugs, as that is one of the most common effects of being bitten by them over a long-term infestation. The psychological effects that they cause don't stop there, as anxiety, sleeplessness, and fatigue are common as well, all things that the OP experienced. The options of it being bed bugs or if OP is being drugged can be argued back and forth, but as I kept reading the thread, I came across a comment that for me, sealed my theory on the matter. You mentioned red bumps on your thigh, insomnia, memory loss, paranoia, and anxiety. Pull the sheets off your mattress, please. Check in the little creases for brown specks or encrusted brown flakes. These symptoms sound eerily familiar to what happened to a friend of mine. We thought he was going crazy. Turns out he was just having a severe reaction to long-term bed bug bites. You mentioned that you remember everything that happened at his place, but as soon as you got home, it started up again. Bed bugs can cause psychological symptoms if the reaction is severe enough. I would check the lip of the mattress first to see if you have bed bugs. Wait, seriously? Does it look like dried chocolate or poop chunks along the seam of the mattress? Yes, is that what you see? Yes, all along the left side of my mattress, by the wall. I do wish OP had included pictures into what she had been experiencing and seeing. It would be good for so many people to get a better understanding and comparison, which would only in turn allow others to get better advice on what OP was going through. This didn't convince everyone in the thread, however. Many were still on board that her boyfriend was responsible. Some suggested that she go to the hospital the next time she woke up with semen on her chest and get a rape kit done. Others insisted she put up cameras in her bedroom and not tell her boyfriend about it, so that way she would finally have some proof that couldn't be denied. But unfortunately, the last post made by Intrepid Sport was from over two years ago when she said she was going to see her doctor in a few hours. 
Since then, the activity on her thread grew with hopes of her bringing some type of answer to her problem, but she hasn't returned. The suddenness of OP's departure didn't sit well with many on the thread, and some began to worry and wonder if her boyfriend found out about it and was responsible for her sudden silence. This is why I stated in the beginning that we truly have no idea on if in fact she was being drugged, or if she was the victim of a bedbug infestation. Further reading just shows people giving their opinion, but nothing from the source could be found. What is known is that if in fact it were bedbugs being the culprit, then it is good that the OP was made aware and hopefully was treated for the bites and was able to get the dangerous insects out of her house once and for all. No news could be found relating to this, other than some web articles covering the story which you have just heard. Intrepid Sport, if you are out there, I hope you are okay and that your boyfriend was not behind your health issues. And that is the story of Intrepid Sports post that caused an uproar on the Legal Advice subreddit. I know this may have seemed like a very sudden ending, but I can only work with the material given to me, and I am not going to speculate as to what could have happened out of respect to the OP. If you can take away anything from this, I would say that if you are going through something that you feel may be embarrassing or weird to talk about, to do it anyway, because you can never truly be too safe or even know a person 100%. If the boyfriend was responsible, it does nothing but further prove that statement. I hope you all enjoyed this dive into one of the most bizarre stories I have ever come across on Reddit. If you have your own theories on the matter, I would love to hear about them in the comments below. You all know the deal by now. Punch that subscribe button and tap dance on that like button, and I will see you all in the next video. Remember to sleep tight, and don't let the bed bugs bite. Stay safe out there, friends. Good night.